everybody, I'm Lydia and I'm here today to share a brand new subscription with you all. This is Pip Sticks and it is a monthly sticker subscription. It is a really fun one that I specifically went and tried to find some sticker subscriptions and this is the first thing that I found so I wanted to see what it's like and hopefully share something cool with you all that everybody who enjoys planning and um, just decorating and having fun will enjoy and I thought it would be a really good choice for summertime because unlike those lipsticks or chocolates and other candies and things it's not gonna melt in your mailbox so let's open it up and see what's inside so first off it's packaged really nicely here um, you've got a great protective cellophane all around it and inside it looks like there's a really nice envelope that contains everything and you've got the stick them up seal on there so I like it it's just a fun little envelope um, and it's set online I think that it gives you about 11 sheets of stickers I want to say so let's see what we've got There's definitely a good bit in here just from the feel of it. Uh, and it looks like there's individual stickers as well as sheets. So this will be fun. Yeah, I got everything out of there. And it's a fun little vellum envelope. Um, I feel like you could easily separate different themed stickers in these envelopes and store them in these. So I like that. Um, so the first couple here, you've got some little cherry blossoms and some roses most of these stickers are they're, they're not going to have any particular like characters on them um that sort of thing and they also have a kids package um so they will cater to both the adults who enjoy stickers as well as kids who might have fun with them but they're not going to have branded material inside it's more the original things that you're going to enjoy. So you've got some little floral frames, which I think are pretty cool. Um, and they're in the nice plastic. So you could use these for a lot of different things, whether um, you could use scrapbooking or something with other images inside. I like it. Um, here's another one here. This also has the clear background from the looks of it. And that's actually a Mrs. Grossman sticker which I have been familiar with for a long time. Um, I collected some of them as a kid and they're really great quality. Um, they do scrapbooking and casual stickers, but they have a really wide variety of designs. So that's fun, very spring appropriate. Specifically, it says Gerber stems. So if you like it, you can look it up. Um, mostly pulling the more loose ones first, just so you can see. Um, so there are some really, really cute bunny stickers, and I think these are probably Korean ones, just judging by the characters here. So hopefully you can get a better look. Uh, really adorable. Congratulations. I just, I love the little bunnies, so that's really fun. There's actually, <laughs> there's, there's a few mixed in here, so I'll probably find more along the way. Uh, and these are kind of a matte finish sticker. Next thing up here is a sheet. These are from Paper House. Got a whole sheet of ladybugs and they are uh, matte finish, but they are also a uh, clear backing. So it's just the images on the clear sheet. That's nice. Uh, we have these here. These are magnolias. I like those. They're a little more pink than I typically think of, but they're really pretty. I like that a lot. Uh, here are some more basic stickers. They don't say a brand on them. Um, so these might be from an Etsy seller. It doesn't specifically say, but I bet you there's an information sheet that I have probably just left behind because I didn't even think about it until just now. <laughs> but these are fun. These seem like they would be good for a lot of general purpose things. Um, let me see if there is an information sheet because that would be helpful, but maybe not. Maybe there's just some really cool stuff. Uh, oh, neat. 
Well, they do have um, like this card where it's got a pattern on one side and then a quote on the other. Dance in the sun and wear flowers in your hair. So you could totally frame that just for the look in your room uh, or your studio space. Ah, here it is. All right. So this is kind of their newslettery bit that goes with it. Um, so you've got another quote, which is a great one. Um, space to kind of journal a little bit and some information from what they've pulled people on to kind of gather what people will enjoy. Um, it's a lot of flowery kind of themes going on here, which is cool. Um, yeah, lots of opportunities to interact with the company and other people who enjoy stickers. So that's awesome. And there are still a lot more here actually. So I think the larger sheets are what they're kind of guaranteeing you. So you've got more bunnies. I love these with lots of bright flowers and you've got two bunnies that are kind of in love or at least friends. Really, really sweet. Um, and there's a little bit of metallic in here. I'm not sure how much you could see, but the, like the centers of these flowers and some of the other parts here is a red metallic. Um, there's not any other metallic, just the red, but I think that's really sweet and I like that a lot. I'll definitely be using that. Um, this is another set here with some kind of French florals. I really like that, um, little vintage feel to it. Yeah, really cute. Then we've got, these are Sandy Lion stickers, another company that I used to love as a kid. And they've got some really pretty orchids and they are clear uh, backed, so that's great. But they're also the matte. There's some shiny interspersed in here, um, but it's a nice balance. I was, I'm nicely surprised by everything in here. Um, this is a huge pattern sticker, which I love. It's just gorgeous with these roses and the metallic. Um, so you can cut this to any size you want. Um, I, I, I'm so glad. I like this a lot. Um, and I'm just starting to realize what some of these great things can be used for. I'm not even sure where to start in terms of doing some fun DIY crafts, but I hopefully will come up with some ideas and share them with you guys. So next up, we've got this set of stripes here. So it's got one solid sticker for each of these different color design spaces. Plus there's a small band in between that uh, you could probably still use if you were to cut carefully when you use them. I like these. These are by Daily Like, Kind and Homely. And then their Blooming Sticker is the design name. I like those. They have um, a lot of texture to them. So it has that really realistic look and vintage feel. Very cool. Uh, here's another sheet in the same collection. And these have three bands across. Um, so you can pull those apart and use them similarly. But you can do all kinds of things, I guess, to use for planners especially. You could section out uh, different events or parts of your day. Um, then we've got several more sheets here that are, uh, these are cute. These are by Studio 2NUL, 2NUL, I guess. Uh, and these are definitely Korean based. I've really been impressed with Korean quality stickers lately. Um, they're very cute, but occasionally you'll have little bits of text that, you know, you can't read because it's in Korean. However, there's a lot of English mixed in as well. So you've got travel, party, all of these things here, and then there's a row here where it's symbols that you can't read, but then there's some other ones where you can even fill in some of the bottom row. So I like that. Um, these are great multi-purpose. Uh, and then you've got what I think is probably, yeah, this is by the same designer, but I don't know if it's actually from the same or not. These were meant for Instax mini camera um, photographs which it's, um, and the Instax Mini is a Polaroid camera, basically, that's made by Fuji. And so you've got those instant pictures that, you know, you 
used to shake even though it did nothing. Um, but they have become really popular and have this little resurgence lately. Despite the fact that it's kind of antiquated technology, it's really fun to use for that instant gratification feel. And these stickers work perfectly with them if you're going to be capturing your memories and then talking about it in a scrapbook or just, you know, putting them on your fridge with a few little commentary bits. Basically, you're making your life a meme with the stickers. So these are great. You've got a little bit of happy birthday, good luck. And one tiny bit of the Korean, but I mean, I think it's really cute and super usable. So I'm, I really don't mind it most of the time unless it's all over everything. Um, this one here also just has one bit and it's sort of just written in the book, but you could write in other things along with it and it would be really adorable. It's a little bit more of happy birthday um, and some more general sentiments. I like it. That's really cool. Uh, and then last off, you've got a cute little postcard that you can create whatever you want. Uh, and it is already stamped and ready to go. You can mail it to whoever you want. So that's really cool. I'm actually doing a postcard exchange um, in the Geeks and Beauties community in the next couple weeks. So this will be a great way that I could put together something fun and then mail it off to them and it would be something unique. So very cool. Uh, I look forward to using all of these. Um, definitely nothing in there that I wouldn't use. And I think the, the thing that I was least impressed by is probably um, these really simplistic stickers. There's nothing bad about them. I just don't use a lot of red, so uh, having something more subtle is probably more to my taste. But these are kind of great to give to the kids in your life, so I'll probably keep them for that reason. I think that's a pretty great um, first package, and if I remember right, it's about 10 or 15 dollars per month. And I'm going to definitely try this out for the next couple months, so I'll probably get it until the end of summer, and then we'll see what I think. Um, I don't need a ton of stickers in my life, however, I really I like it so far, and I am enjoying sharing it with you all. Tell me what you think in the comments. I really look forward to talking to you all more about it. And tell me how you think they could be used in cool ways, because I'd love to hear some ideas as I think up a cool DIY or two. So anyway, if you have enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe. I'd love to hear more from you all and it really helps to keep you in the loop when I have new videos out. <laughs> I can't talk today, but anyway, I'm wrapping things up, so I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.